My name is Joshua Hoey, and I am proud to say I have just graduated from DevCodeCamp's software development program. Before DevCodeCamp, I was in the restaurant industry for almost a decade, working from dishwasher to sous chef, and then moved to the front end of the house, and have been bartending to eventually bar managing. I am currently enrolled in a software engineering degree as well at Quincy College in Massachusetts to further my education. I came to DevCodeCamp because after the coronavirus hit, the restaurant industry took a heavy beating. And with not being able to have reliable income and having my job closed down multiple times due to the outbreak in the area and with coworkers, I decided it was time to take a step further to get into the developer field faster than waiting to graduate with my degree. For my capstone project, I built an application called Strokers Bar and Billiards that I will be deploying in the future for my father since he owns this pool hall. This application will allow customers to be able to reserve tables at the pool hall, as well as make deposits for each table and have direct contact form for events and other questions that the customers may have. Technologies I used for this project were Django, MySQL, React, EmailJS, Stripe, HTML, CSS, and I used React Bootstrap for my styling. Now, without further ado, here's Stroker's Bar and Billiards. Now on first running with the page, we first see it's the nice home page where we have an about us section, the hours, the tap list, and bartender's favorite drinks that change season by season. Also, we have the location and the phone number in case any customers don't know where the, the business is located. Now, on to our next routing that I made with React, React Routing. We go on to the events where customers will be able to see that Strokers has a weekly nine ball tournament at 6 p.m. for $10. Now, say a customer would like to have an event or a tournament that they would like to have there, they would fill out this form and then on completing the form, it would redirect them to Stripe for a payment on clicking. It would be a $20 deposit before they, the event gets approved or denied. On denial, they would receive that $20 deposit back. Back with, on here, when the customer does fill out this form, it is linked with my email JS and linked also with my actual email where I actually get the emails being sent from email JS as well. Now onto the calendar, which is also another route that I've made. You can see that this is a very interactive calendar because it can go throughout every month. And it's so interactive that on the admin side that I'll be deploying on my next iteration, uh, the admin will be able to click on it, enter in any event that they would like. So let's say another 5 p.m. nine ball tournament. It automatically renders right to the calendar. What's also cool about this calendar, you can actually drag and drop these events on any specific date. Now, say I wanted to have a week, weekend long event, they would type in the weekend event. And it's so interactive that the user will be able to simply stretch out the event and have it cover all the days that they, are, they want it to go through. Now, what's even cooler about this is now I'm able to actually stack these. When it, stacking them, at first, uh, when I was first going through the code, it was just rendering the next one that I was putting on top of it. So I had to go read through a lot of documentation through uh, the full calendar and find out how to um, be able to stack these. This took uh, quite a bit of time, but I was able to successfully do this. Now, when a customer wants to reserve a table for later on in the day, so say table number two is available for four o'clock. So all this user would end up doing, click reserve, brings them right to the Stripe. They would pay a $5 deposit and they are good to go for five o'clock at table two. Now, as you can see, when we go back to render the page, you can see that table two is now gone. So no other user will be able to reserve that table and that is gone for the day. Now on future iterations, before I deploy this, I'm going to have a drop down for each of the table numbers. So one through four, and then each time, whether it be four, five, six, seven, eight, and have a drop down in just one table. That'll make it easier and more user friendly. Now on the contact form, same thing, the, the user would just fill out each of these with their name, email, message, and it would get sent right to my email and on my email JS server. Now on future iterations, I would love to be able to deploy this and I'd say about two weeks when I uh, get more styling done and I'm able to uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. Um, I need to create an admin on the back end. That way there'll be like a little button at the bottom. That way, so the owner, my father, or whoever it be, will be able to get on that back end and be able to add an event there. So that'll automatically be rendered to the calendar. 
Another issue I was having was with React Bootstrap overriding my CSS. When I was trying to um, style body on the CSS, it wasn't rendering it for either on the app or any of my components. So there's another thing on my next iteration that I'm going to be working on to make sure that I'm able to be able to uh, style each body for each single page and for the app itself. This project has been a lot of fun and I'm so excited to be graduating from DevCode Camp and I am so excited for what the future holds for me and for my future employers. Thank you so much.